Hello everyone, in today's video I'll show you how to knit this balaclava. This is women's adult size and it would fit most, but just in case I will include the measurements. So width wise it measures to about 20 centimeters while the ribbing is about three. Then this part measures to about 10 centimeters and full length is about 32 centimeters. I hope you will enjoy this video and if you do, don't forget to hit subscribe, like this video and let's get into it. To make this, you will need two colors, double knit yarn. I have black and this buckle wool, which is available on my website. Then 4.5 millimeter needles with cable. This is worked flat, but you would require the cable rather than the flat needles and i have 60 centimeter cable in but any size would work then pair of scissors needle and two stitch markers i will originally uh making this in black but i've got different uh yarn just so it is more uh visible to you and to start you want to make a slip knot like this and you want to have quite a long tail if you don't want to waste your yarn you can cast on 10 stitches then measure how much yarn it takes and multiply it by 10 then grab that long of a tail and start off so once you did your slip knot tighten it up and you will need to cast on 100 stitches to start you want to grab working yarn with your index finger and your tail with your thumb like this and then pull your needle down and you get this kind of heart or m shape so once you do that you want to go underneath this strand through the loop grab this yarn and come back pull it tight that's your one cast on done and with the slip knot it's two so you've got two done then again go in wrap the yarn come back and pull it tight that's three and repeat this hundred times and once you've got hundred this is how it will look you can then trim on a tail that you have turn your work and we will now be working knit two purl two ribbing so you will knit two purl two and repeat 25 times so to do the knit stitch you want to go from the left to the right and to the other side yarn under and slip the stitch off again from the left to the right yarn under and slip the stitch off to do the purl stitch you want to bring the tail forward go from the right to the left and then wrap your yarn around slip the stitch off and again from right to left wrap your yarn and slip the stitch off and this is what you will repeat so the next two stitches are knit put your tail to the back and go to knit the next two then bring the tail and purl the next two Then again to the back, knit the first two, and again bring the tail and purl two. So repeat this till the end of your row and I will meet you then. And I'm now at the end of my row, so if you cast it on the right amount of stitches, your row will end with two purl stitches because you did start with two knit ones. If you haven't got correct amount of stitches, you will need to restart because you need multiples of four for this uh, pattern to work. To know what stitch you did, these bumps here that you see these are your purl stitches and these wees your knit stitches i hope this is clear enough but when you turn your work to the other side you see you did purl stitches here they will look like knit so you will again start your row from 
knit 2, purl 2 and they will show as opposite stitch on the other side but once you've got your row done repeat this row until you have 26 rows so basically knit 2, purl 2 and repeat until 26 rows your row will always start with knit stitch and end with purl so just to show you one more time to knit you go as to knit and knit the first two then bring your tail forward and purl the next two then bring your tail to the back knit the next two bring it to the front and purl the next two so repeat this until you have 26 rows and I will meet you at the end and again if you do get confused between the stitches these bumps are your purls and you always be stacking them on top of each other so you will never have knit and then purl on top of each other it's always purl and knit like so so these are your knits and then again it's purl knit purl and you always are doing what you see so these are purl stitches you will purl these two and knit the next two so i'm gonna do my 26 rows and i will meet you at the end now once you've got your 26 rows done this is how it will look and you want to count 31 stitches from where you have your yarn so count 31 and put the stitch marker in so that you know how many stitches to cast off and this is the front neck part which we are casting off and we will continue with the remaining stitches now to begin the cast off you need the first two stitches on your right needle so knit the first two And you need to pull this stitch through this one so using your needle go in and pull it through like this and you have one stitch left to continue cast off you will need another stitch and you can see the next one is purl so bring your yarn in front of you and purl one stitch like this at all times you shouldn't have more than two stitches on your right needle so Go in and pull it through the other stitch and then again purl the next one so you are bringing one stitch from now on because you have two and pull it like so now the next two stitches are knit so knit the next one Pull that loop through other stitch again knit the other one pull it through and this is what you will repeat so stitches that are purl you will be purling and stitches that are knit you will knit so I'm gonna repeat this till I reach my stitch marker and I will see you then now at the end I have one stitch left which is purl and my next purl is after the stitch marker this is because we have odd number of stitches to cast off which is 31 that's why it ends with only one purl so I'm gonna purl that very last one then pull it through the loop on my needle and I have one stitch left so now you can take your stitch marker off bring this stitch onto your left needle and now the ribbon part is done so you want to bring in your new color and you will be purling all of these stitches so just because this last loop is our cast off you need to secure it so you can go in as to purl through the first two stitches and purl it together wrap your yarn around and slip it off now purl the remaining ones and by the end of this row you will have 69 stitches And 
And once you've purled your first row of 69 stitches, the next row you will need to knit. So go in and knit all 69. And I just did my knit row. So now this is what you will repeat until you have 48 rows counting from this one. So I'm not including the rows for ribbing, only counting from the first one we purled 69. So 48 rows of that. And you will basically purl and knit until you have 48 rows. Now you can change color every two, four or six rows. I will be doing every two rows. And for this blue one that I have here, I did change color every six rows, as you can see. So it's completely up to you if you want to change every two rows, every four or every six. It's still going to work. But just to show you, I'm going to now pick up my black and purl and knit two rows just to show you how it looks. But yeah, once you've done your first two, never finish the yarn off as you can simply pick it up. Uh, when you need it. So this is what I'm gonna do with this black now. So this row is purl and I have my yarn in front. I'm gonna go in and purl all 69 again. Now that I have purled my third row, I'm going to knit the next one. And this is what the first four rows will look like. So now I would pick my other yarn and do two rows, then back to black again. And I will repeat until I have 48 counting from this one here. So do yours, whether you are changing every two, four or six rows, and I will meet you then. Now, once you've got your rows, you want to count 23 stitches on one side, put the stitch marker in then count 23 from the other side, put the stitch marker in, and in the middle here you will also have 23 stitches, so that comes to 69 in total, and these three parts will be equal. So we will now be finishing off this side as well as this, and we will be working in the middle only. Now, still working with the color that you did your previous two rows, you will do cast off, and I will be using this black, this is my purl row, so I will be purling all of the stitches until I come to the stitch marker. And again, you want to start off by purling the first two. So that's one and two and pull it through the other loop. Then again, purl one. Pull it through and repeat purl one pull it through the other on your needle and so on until you come to your stitch marker. So I'm going to do mine and I will meet you at the end. And I'm now at my stitch marker. I have one loop left from the cast off. You want to take the stitch marker out, put this loop on your left needle. Now you want to finish this color off with a bit of a tail for sewing, so I'm going to do that. And I'm also going to finish my other color, which has been left off here, because I need to join it now in this stitch. So I'm leaving a bit of a tail again. And now with this other color, you will be purling all of the stitches. But for the first two, you will purl two together because we want to secure that cast off. So go in as to purl through two of them. Wrap your new color and slip the stitch off. Tighten it up. And go ahead and purl the others until you come to the stitch marker.
Now, once you've got these 23 stitches purled, you reach your stitch marker, you can take it off. Grab the color that you finished these two rows with and we will cast off these 23 stitches. So you want to purl the first two. One. And two. And pull it through the other loop. Then again, go in, purl, slip it off, and pull it through the stitch on your needle. Repeat this till the end, and I will meet you then. At the end, you want to yarn and pull through that loop just to secure it. Cut it off again with quite a bit of a tail so that we can sew it later on and pull this yarn through. Ignore all of these tails, we will come back to them later on and and from now on you will be having 23 stitches only which again you will be doing a purl, knit row and repeat changing color every two, four, or six rows, depending what you did before, which is two rows for me. So I've got my purl row done. That means I need to knit this one, and then I will change color and repeat this until I have another 24 rows. So counting from this purl one. So do your rows until you have 24, changing color accordingly to what you did before, and I will meet you then. Now, once you've got your 24 rows, which is 12 stripes for me, you will need to finish off. But before you do this, you want to make sure that this side measures to the length of your rows. And you can do this by just simply folding those two ends together and it doesn't have to be perfect just make sure that it's close enough and if it's not then you will need to make more rows but once you're ready you can cut off your old color and I'm just gonna leave this one for now so I can cast off I'm gonna be using hook this time this is 4.5 millimeters same as my needle and I will be casting off purl wise. So to start, you want to purl the first two stitches. So one and two, and pull it through the other one. Again, pull one and pull it through. And purl one at a time, because you always have to have two stitches. But yeah, I'm gonna do this till the very end. At the end, chain one or pull your yarn through to secure it, cut it off, and pull through. This is how it will look. And now using your tails that we have left from the cast off here, you will need to put them together right sides in and sew both of these. So grab your needle and the tail you have left. Put those two pieces together and sew it. I'm gonna go in from one side and then gonna go back to the other, just like so. And I'm gonna do this till the and once you are done sewing you will need to go in and hide the tail so i'm going through those pearls on my wrong side 
and I will repeat this a few times until that tail is secure enough. Once you're done, cut it off and this is what it will look joined together. Now you want to repeat the same thing on the other side. So I'm going to do that off camera and I will see you for the ribbing part. Now, once you've got your both sides here sewn together, this is what it will look like. And now we will be doing ribbing all around. So you will need to cast on stitches starting from this side, having your work right side up and cast on up until you come along the end of this. So grab your yarn and I'm going to be using this black one and go into the first stitch here, yarn it over and pull it through. Again into the next space, go in and pull through a loop and skip the next one, then pull up a loop in the next two, skip the third. So you're always picking up two loops and skipping the third. And the reason why we are skipping the third is to make sure that that ribbing is pretty tight. So once you've got two, skip the third, go into the next. And it might be hard to see because I have this buckle yarn, but try to cast on two, skip the third and repeat and you want to keep the number of stitches multiples of four. So I just did two, I'm skipping the third one and going into the next instead. Then again into the next. and skipping the third, which might be easier to see, but I just did into this black one, I have the next, which I'm skipping and going into the next instead. So just like so, you will be going all around and casting on. I'm gonna do this and I will meet you at the end. Once you are done casting on, so again, from the starting striped rows, go all around up until this side of the ribbing and your number of stitches should be multiples of four. I have 96. If your isn't, you might then need to pick up an extra few stitches to make that number multiples of four. But once you've got that, you will be working knit two, purl two, which you already know because we did it on this ribbing part. But yeah, to show you again, Go as if to knit two times. Bring your tail forward and purl the next two. And this is what you will repeat till the end and your row will be ending with two purl stitches if you've got multiples of four. So I'm gonna do my row and I will meet you then. And I'm now at the end, which again is the purl stitches because I did start with two knit. And now you want to repeat this row until you have 16 in total, counting from this one. And you will always be starting with two knit and end with two purl. So go ahead and make another 15 rows until you have 16. And I will meet you for the final touches. 
Don't worry though that the ribbing is gonna be pretty long. It's gonna be folded in half for the thickness. So I'm gonna do my 16 rows and I will see you then. And once you're done with the 16 rows, you will need to cast it off. So I will again be using my hook. And to start, you want to knit the first two stitches. Pull it through. And from now on, do one stitch at a time. So the next one is purl. Pull it through. Again, the next one is purl again. Then knit one, pull it through, knit the other one, pull it through, and this is what you will repeat till the end. So I'm going to finish mine, and I will see you at the end. Then finish your cast off with pretty long tail, as we will be sewing this ribbing in half. Grab your needle fold your ribbing in half like so and you will need to join along this side through the ribbing having your work wrong sides in and I'm gonna start with this corner here I'm not gonna go to the other side I'm just kind of picking up the stitch like so and going through both of them you could also do slip stitches using your hook but I prefer to sew it so that's what I'm gonna do so let me finish mine and I will see you at the end and once you're done sewing the ribbing in half, your yarn should be here. So make your way up down the ribbing so that you do have your yarn at the very top. And we will join this side together. So it's not going to be very visible with this black yarn, but you should be doing a matter stitch, which I leave a link in the description below so you can go and watch it. But yeah, basically you will need to sew these together. And once you're done sewing the side, you want to go on the wrong side of your work and hide the tail in. And this is how it will look all finished up. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, don't forget to hit subscribe, like this video, and I'll see you in my next one.